to my channel. As you can tell by the title, this is my apartment tour, my first ever apartment living alone with no roommates. I only lived there for about six months. You can see I'm not even there anymore because it's November and I filmed that back in June. I just now got around to editing it. But yeah, this is my first apartment living alone. I just wanted to document it and recommend this apartment complex to people going to UNT. It honestly had the best management, but this was Majestic Park Apartments in Denton, Texas. If y'all are interested, it is not student living. It's like a family apartment or just a regular apartment where you have to buy your own furniture, pay rent, um, like as a single unit and then just split the rent with whoever your roommate is. This was my one bedroom, one bathroom apartment. That was the smallest size. Rent did go up, so I did not pay the inflated rate at the time. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So after you walk in, immediately on the right side, there is a washer and dryer unit. If you're wondering why I have a scrunchie here, it's because Spooky likes to take her little hand and open this door. Immediately to the left side is my kitchen. It's small but mighty. Actually pretty big, honestly. I don't know why I'm saying that. The island is pretty large for just me, and I really, really love my kitchen. I've made so many amazing meals here. We have the dark cabinets and the steel appliances. But these bar stools are actually from Target. They were super cheap. I believe they were only like $40, $50 each, so I got two of them. I've had these ever since my first apartment freshman year, so I've had these for a very long time. Storage slash like coat closet, but obviously I don't have any coats in here. Keep my cleaning supplies and my cat stuff and recycle bin in here. This is the corner right here that I am absolutely in love with. So I had a bar cart. I'll show you all in a little bit. I don't even drink that much and I was so obsessed with it for the last year and a half that I had it, but I finally sold it to an old classmate of mine. So of course, I kept the bar set because it's super cute and I got it as a birthday present from Jackie and I feel like I could still use it for mocktails. They're literally my favorite um canisters from oxo i'm sure y'all have seen it it's just flour oatmeal brown sugar my oven i have these decorative towels from target you're my happy place i always love having decorative towels here because i feel like it just kind of completes the kitchen never actually use it because they are not absorbent at all but then i actually want to show y'all my plates and stuff i always am set with organization so i feel like it looks so cute okay moving on to this part of the kitchen this is where i like i usually store more of the food and spices so Here's my little spice rack. This avocado oil, or just the oil bottle in general. And I love how it's round. Got that from Home Goods. And here's my little utensil pot thing. And usually I keep avocados in this bowl, but my avocados are already ripe. So I just have some English muffins for right now. This is my spice rack and like tiny little appliances. And of course is the pantry. Usually it's also very organized, but I just have so much food. Uh, right now so it's just being thrown in there I think it's really shallow this apartment one thing I don't like about it even though I love everything about it is the sinks are so so shallow and then the water splashes everywhere but it's fine like the water pressure here is amazing my trash can on the left because it just makes sense to like throw stuff right there I always 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 have hand soap and like eco-friendly soap and the last but not least I have a UNT little banner that so this is my living room I honestly love my living room so so much it's so cute there I can be super modern or contemporary or my style just completely childlike I don't know why I just love color love all cutesy things like you know what I don't even have to explain myself but I have this gold table right here I always have this like little key holder because I feel like it just makes it really easy and I'm never that person that's like oh where's my key unless like it's hidden in my purse this is my Amazon I'm not gonna say it because she's gonna turn on so this Nike little painting session bordery is something I actually made Made. This is my little heart bowl I got during Valentine's Day and I freaking love it. It has obviously these candies for guests that come over, but I honestly don't have that many guests come over to this apartment just because it's so small and I've been super busy this semester. Some little cat socks Itziana got me and they're so cute. I love them. And of course, a little laser pointer for my kitty. So I was trying to hide the little tubing system I have for Spooky. She absolutely loves it. It usually lays in the middle of the living room, but I want to show you all the aesthetic part first. First, I have her litter box with a pink matte. It is so cute. Her little box is also pink. You can't really tell because the bag is in the way. Little scooper right there. And then back over here is my B12 
beautiful faux marble coffee table from Target. This was so cheap. This little centerpiece is something I've always, always wanted. It's really heavy duty. I think it's actual marble from Target. This little tray, it was about $20 and it's like one of my prized possessions. Like I will never give this away. And these coasters, same as these coasters. I have one of these coasters when I knew I was gonna move out too. So I asked for them as my birthday present one year. The next thing I want to talk about is my beautiful couch. I love when the little lines come in there when you vacuum or like clean it. It is a blue velvet couch. I actually got from a random girl in Dallas who was selling this for $100. It's completely brand new. It was so clean when I got it. And I've always had these heart pillows from uh, Gnor. He got them for me with those giant teddy bears that were like really popular on Twitter. So he got them for me and I absolutely still love them. They have a saying on the back which is so cute, but I just cover it since it's a little like tacky if it's just for decoration. Pillows right here, everyone loves them. They always lay on them and I, of course, wash them. They're so easy to wash in the machine. But they are from Home Goods or TG Maxx. And this little cow animal was actually free from school. Actually, a recent addition, aka like literally I added this two days ago, so there was nothing here for the longest. So congrats to me. And there's a picture of me. And like, I've never been that type of person to have pictures of myself because I don't know. I feel like that's something your parents would do. I think it looks really good there. This is like one of my favorite pictures of me. I like it. It's cute. And it kind of matches with like the UNT thing over there. You can see Spooky's giant cat tree. Cat tree was very inexpensive from Chewy.com. It was only like $70, I believe. It was also a gift for my birthday. Ganora Sisters actually made me this. It is so cute. It's a spooky sweet. So I decided to stick it there and make this spooky sweet. From the cat tree down is her little scratcher. It is not the cutest and it's really random. She doesn't scratch my furniture. So that's one thing I love about Spooky. She does not scratch anything but her own scratching like toys and like I said I used to have a bar cart right here that I absolutely loved and it matched this gold mirror right here I had to sell it because I'm about to move back home in a month and I really don't need it anymore Of course, I got a bookshelf instead only $10 from Facebook marketplace this woman is being a little brat over here look at her look at that big stretch big stretch here is Spooky's food, and I know people are always like, put your water away from your food for your cat because instinctively they don't eat the water and food together, but she drinks the water. Like, my cat is pretty chill. She came from the streets. It don't even matter. This mirror was only $30 from TJ Maxx. I love it so much. There's a storage room out there with all of my storage boxes and moving boxes. Before I got my bookshelf, I stored all of my books in here, and it just looked really messy. See, honestly, I don't even use a TV that much. I got this for aesthetic purposes. Don't come at me for my small TV. It was free from my house. This little bookshelf thing was from Walmart. It was only like $100. Koala Bear is from Noor for my birthday. She's so freaking sweet and I love it so much. It's a squishmallow. So yeah, this is my living room 24 seven. Just spooky sitting all the way to the top because she thinks she's the queen of the world and these tubes just lying around. And this is my bedroom. I'll give y'all an overview. When you walk in, you will notice this light up water fountain that I have for Spooky again. First, I have my desk, and I really love this desk. I think it's so sturdy. Over here in the corner that I try to stay hidden is all my little office supplies. And then, so here's my bed. I absolutely love this thing. I got it from Target, and it looks so chic. It was literally like $20 or $30, but the... This is a different brand from the one from Room Essentials. This one's more, like, slightly more expensive, like five to ten dollars more expensive brand. And this is like a catch-all bucket that I have. So I have my little Chom Chom to get all the cat hair. I have a journal, a book I sometimes read, hand lotion, just all the things. And I keep this all here because Spooky sleeps with me and she leaves hair everywhere on my pillows. I have to lint roll that like right before I go to bed. This is a bucket I actually got from a UNT event. Keep all of my hair clips in here. I don't know if you guys remember before they had those single wick candles at Bath and Body Works. They had the mini ones, so three of them could fit in here. So long ago, it was probably when I was in middle school. So I just keep my sanitizers in here and I I think it's the cutest thing. It obviously fits six of these perfectly. So my bed sheets are actually from Target too. Everything's from Target. The white sheet and this sheet is from Target and I absolutely love it. And this bed frame is from Amazon. I love this bed frame. As you can see, my bed is 
25% occupied by Squishmallows. Into this corner right here, I have my air purifier. I feel like it doesn't really do anything. I was really hoping it would trap like Spooky's hair and stuff. And I have this blanket basket I got from Jackie a long time ago. I just realized a lot of these things are like gifts. But I did ask for them when I moved out and, you know, wanted to decorate because decorating can get expensive. And then I have this mirror from Walmart. It's actually broken because this little one ran into it twice and it fell over. I'm surprised the actual mirror didn't break. The frame of it is completely broken. It's just kind of hanging together. So let's go over the closet real quick. In my closet, I have all my shoes, professional clothes, scrubs, and going out clothes, and then just like my everyday clothes. So here's my pink laundry basket, all my white shoes, pants, t-shirts, Leggings. These are all leggings. I need to find a better way to organize them when I get home too. Shorts. And then this Hello Kitty bag I got from Vegas. Mookie loves sitting here for hours on end looking outside. It's so cute. Into the bathroom. The first thing you see is my super cute shower curtain. And I just want to show y'all my little shower rack. I just love it a lot because it's like matte black and... I don't know, I just really like it. It's also from Target. And of course, here's the toilet. And this is also from Target. Trash can from Target. This is from Target. Scrunchies are from Amazon. Toilet is from the apartment. This is from Target too. It's like five bucks. I have all my jewelry here, some perfumes that I brought from home. So I have my face wash, the same hand soap that I have outside in the kitchen, cup, and gorgeous, gorgeous girls wear their retainer. That's it for my apartment tour for my very first apartment living alone. I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Um, I post not that often, but you know, I try my best. Just let me know what y'all want to see. Like get ready with me. Like what are we, what are we feeling? But yeah, don't forget to share my channel with your friends. And I have a link tree down below now that has all my links. So it's all organized there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.